Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jawad. In this video, I'm going to talk, talk, talk about the differences. Hello everyone, Dr. Jawad here. In this video, I want to tell you about the differences between the bad fats and the good fats in our daily diet. So let's talk about the good fat. Now the good fat, we're looking at anything that is grass fed, okay? So any type of animal products. We're looking at the beef, the chicken, the turkey. Anything that's grass fed, because remember when they're grain fed, it actually promotes inflammation, which in turn what happens, they give them a bunch of antibiotics to help decrease the internal inflammation of the chicken, of the beef, of the livestock. So when you eat it, you're actually eating more inflammatory foods. So this is why grass fed animals uh, actually decrease inflammation. Uh, cheese, butter, cream. Again, anything that's grass fed. Now let's go for the oils. Olive oil, palm oil, coconut oil. Now, olive oil, it's, olive oil is a little bit higher in omega-6s, but for some reason, the olive oil, the omega-6 in the olive oil does not promote inflammation. It's actually anti-inflammatory. Anything from the nut, the seed, uh, almond, cashews. Now, I'm a big believer in cashew butter and almond butter. Stay away from the peanut butter because the peanut butter actually promotes inflammation because it's high in omega-6. Also, too, it's high in sugar. So the almond butter, cashew butter, it's lower in sugar and actually is anti-inflammatory. It's a good fat for you. Avocados, high, again, high in good fat. Flax oil. Now, the thing about flax oil is actually pretty golden because it balances out the good estrogen. Okay, so you got good estrogen and bad estrogen. So taking flax oil, flaxseed oil will help balance out the good estrogen for you. Uh, sesame seed, it's great for the blood lard, but we just found in pork. Wild-caught fish, this is anything salmon, or my favorite is wild-caught swordfish. Again, it's high in all the good omega-3s. It's high in the good fat. It actually decreases inflammation in your system. So let's talk about the bad fat. Now, the bad fat, soy, corn, cottonseed, canola, that's all high in GMOs. So that will actually cause inflammation in your system. Margarine, Again, margarine, like 30 years ago, we had the scare between the butter and the margarine, and everyone went to margarine. Now, 30 years later, we're realizing that actually butter is actually better for you. Now, margarine, keep one thing in mind, it's a different type of fat. It's a trans fat. And sometimes you'll see it as partially hydrogenated or fully hydrogenated. Again, it's a bad fat for you. It actually promotes inflammation. Um, restaurants. Any type of restaurant foods, especially fried. Now, you have to watch out. A lot of restaurants, well, they're going to they're going to cook it, and they're going to cook it, cook it in soy oil, or cottonseed oil, or canola oil, or even vegetable oil. Okay, that will promote inflammation because that's a bad fat for you. Now, in the middle here, I put the fish oils. Fish oil, keep it a grain of salt. Okay, safflower and sunflower oils, they're high in omega sixes. Now we have different types of omegas. We have omega six. I'm sorry, omega-3, 6, and 9s. Omega-3 is actually anti-inflammatory, which is omega-6 is actually pro-inflammatory. It causes inflammation. So if you're going to have safflower oil or sunflower oil, just make sure you balance it out with the omega-3 fish oils to help decrease the inflammation that's being caused by these oils in and of itself. Now again, our bodies are made of essential proteins and fatty acids. Okay, so... We need fats for overall cellular metabolism, but also to the cell membrane needs fat to live. Now, the saturated fats, I know this is an evil word to most people. However, 50% 50 of our cell, cell membranes are constituted of saturated fat. Okay? And in the Framington study, they've actually done studies where they've given people more saturated fat, and it's actually increased in saturated fats. The, the outcome is less heart attacks. Now, keep one thing in mind, when you have saturated fats, what they look out for, they look out for the elevated insulin and the sugar that will cause the inflammation that causes the heart attack. So, saturated fat, cholesterol, that does not promote heart attacks. It's actually the sugar and insulin that nicks the interior lining of the arterial of the blood vessels, which will cause a plaque. Okay, so that's the culprit. Because there's no studies that have been done about high cholesterol foods. Now, our, our bodies are pretty dynamic. Basically, we make our cholesterol through our liver. So what that means is that if we actually decre decrease our cholesterol intake, we're actually going to promote, we're, we're going to actually make more cholesterol in our system. 
Cholesterol is phenomenal for anti-inflammation. Anti cholesterol is good for hormone production. A uh, cholesterol is good to, to, get, to calm the brain. Our brain is mostly fat. Okay, so we need cholesterol for that fat. We need fat for that cholesterol production. So don't be afraid of having high cholesterol foods. It's just watch out for the sugar and insulin. That's going to cause the damage. So again, good fat versus bad fat, the fish oil in the middle. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please please like the, uh, click the like button down below and share with a friend. And I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Hello, this is Dr. Juwad. Please subscribe to my channel for more up-to-date videos. And thanks for watching.